Hello artists! Welcome back. It's Miss M with another video. Today we're learning about the five basic elements of shape. For now, I'll we will take a longer look here in just a moment. But for now, I want you guys to know that there are two different families. We have the dot and circle family, and then we also have the line family. The line family is made up of the straight line family, the curved line family, and the angle line family. And here in just a moment, I'll draw them all out for you. And for today, our goal is I can follow along and draw what Miss M draws. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and start off with the five basic elements of shape. And for this part, you guys do not have to follow along with me. You can just watch this. You don't have to draw along. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to. This is the dot family and the circle family with the dot. The dot is anything that can be filled in. That is my oval, bigger dot, my ellipses, kind of like a dot on the side, and my little kidney bean. I think this thing, they look like beans. Dot family. The dot family is anything roundish that can be filled in or that is colored in my dot my oval the ellipses and the kidney and for the circle family it is anything roundish that is empty so these ones are not colored in. That's my circle. My oval. The ellipses. And the kidney. There we go. Next up is the line family. And of course we have our straight line, our curved line, and our angles. First up is our straight line family. It can be a long line, that is a horizontal line, a nice thick line, a vertical or diagonal line. We could have multiple lines next to each other or little dash lines, it is still a line. Next up is the curved line family. This is not that it's not touching, so it is still a curved line. We can have two curved lines interacting with each other and a spiral. Those are curved lines, anything with a nice curve. The angle line family, it really consists of two straight lines, vertical and horizontal, a vertical and a diagonal, vertical and diagonal. That's a V-shape, two diagonal lines. They're not touching, the still angled lines. Greater than less than signs, I always call them those. Or little mountains. All right, today we're gonna wanna make sure that our paper is horizontal. This is horizontal, or in art we call it landscape. This way is vertical, or in art we call it portrait. This is my paper, horizontal. You need something to draw with. I'm using a marker. You can use a pencil, pen, anything you have. This is what we're going to be drawing today. Is there a little scene with our little turtle or tartuga? I love little turtles. I think they're so cute. So the first one we're starting off with in our, on our right hand side is an ellipses. Our little sideways circle. Next, I'm going to draw two straight lines from each side. It's okay if one looks a little more curved or if it's straight. Now it's all right. I'll make mistakes. Next, I'm going to draw these candy cane shapes. I'm going to go out and then down. And I'm going to repeat that on the next side. I'm going to go out and then down. And I'll connect it with a slight curved line. It's okay if yours is bigger, taller, or wider. All of ours will look different and this will be beautiful. 
The next thing that I'm going to be drawing is a table that our vase is going to be on. I'm going to start off with a horizontal line going behind it, not through it. Not all the way across the paper either. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a diagonal line out. You can see. There you go. That's now an angled line. Our next step, we're kind of done with our little vase area for the moment. I'm going to be drawing this cool little rectangle, more angled lines. I'm going to draw this horizontal line. Going, going, going. I try not to go past the table. Straight down. There goes that's our angled line. Now we're going to close it off by drawing another horizontal line. And I just fix mine so that they connect. All right, there you go. That's gonna be our window space. What I'm going to draw is two diagonal lines. I'm not going from the very middle. I'm giving it some space so our curtains look like they're open. So I pick a little place. And there you go, draw that diagonal line. Now it looks like a right triangle on there. And I'm repeating on the next line. There you go. Now what I'm gonna do is pick a place on my little triangle area and draw down to that bottom line. I'll draw two straight lines inside. There we go. Next I'm going to draw a straight line down till I hit that bottom line. There we go. Now it looks like we have a little curtains open. I'm going to follow that up with two vertical lines the same direction as that vertical line there. I'm going to repeat that on the other side as well. Remember, you can pause at any moment, guys, if I'm going too fast. Pause it, and we can catch up. Right here, I'm drawing another horizontal line, giving myself a little ledge. All right, I'm going to give myself another angled line, vertical, then horizontal. You can fill it in with whatever you want. You can make it a mirror. You can make it a picture. I'm going to draw three flowers. I'm going to start off with the swirl. It's going to be a little rose. A swirl. And then I kind of just close it off. There you go. I have a swirl. Next thing I'll draw. I want a dot. I might want a bigger dot. I'm going to draw a nice little flower with some curved lines. You can have as many petals as you want. I do one curved line, two, three, four, five, six, but you can do more or less. Make the flower yours. I'm going to do a C shape, another nice curved line. I'm going to do three little curves inside. One, two, three. There you go. Kind of looks like a tulip. Now I'm going to draw three stems. That's one, two, three. I want them down touching that bottom line of the vase so it looks like they're inside of it. Next, I'm going to draw two curved lines on each side of those stems for our little leaves. That's one, two, one, two. Okay. We're pretty much done with that inside. Now I'm going to do the outside. There you go. We're going to draw a fence. You can see that I'm making my little mountain shapes. I'm doing it pretty high, not too low. One. There you go. One mountain shape. Go all the way across. And I don't want to draw on top of the curtain line. You can have more. You can have less. They can be bigger or they can be smaller. Now I'm going to choose a place to draw my next horizontal line for the bottom of the fence. I draw, I draw it pretty high, just so I can have lots of space for the ground. There you go. The next thing that we want is to take that little point that's facing on the inside and draw one down. I find it again. Take that point and draw down. I'm going to find that point and draw down. And you repeat all the way across your page. All right. I'm almost done. You can still see. I can add some extra 
vertical lines and I'm going to do that straight up and down just like the other ones you may have to add them you may not that's just mine next thing I'm going to do is draw me a little turtle I start off with candy cane shape nice curved line for the face I connect it another like little C shape my turtle's kind of funny looking, and that's okay. For his little body, what we're going to do is draw a nice oval shape, kind of circular. Boop. There you go. If you could draw a turtle better, you're more than welcome to. This is how I drew my little guy. Straight line down from the mouth. And I'm going to curve in for a little leg. Curve in again. And our little turtle has four feet. So I'm going to give him four little round feet. I'll give him a little triangle tail. Just like our little fences. A cool little eyeball. Just a little dot. And I'm going to give him two little dots for his nose. One, two. There you go. I kind of put a little number sign. You can draw his little turtle shell the way you like to. That's just the way I did it. I'm also going to give him a little ball. And of course, you can decorate stuff. Fill in whatever you want. Make it yours. That is all that I have. I hope you guys had a wonderful time doing this. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.